Hello, 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 and welcome with Cooking with Camille. I'm your girl with the mostest. I'm your girl, Camille, and we're here to make something quick and easy. I uh, just got home from work and uh, rehearsal, Gospel Meet Symphony, uh, and uh, some other priorities I had to do, so I'm going to do something quick. We're going to make some uh, meatballs with uh, some mashed potatoes and some broccoli. That's quick enough. Okay, so first of all, let's preheat our oven to 375. And we're going to mix um, our hamburger together. We'll, let's, let's heat, let me preheat the oven first. Okay, we're going to put our hamburger in there. I'm going to get some sausage. I got some Bob Evans um, maple sauce. No, it's not maple. Sage sausage. I'm only going to use half of it. Uh, sage sausage. Put in there. I'm not going to put no... You could put an onion in there. But since my granddaughter don't like onions, we're not going to put no onion in it a day. Okay? And we're going to add, uh, let's mix this all up first. Okay, so now we're going to add about a half a teaspoon of pepper. We're going to do about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. We're going to do about a half a teaspoon of Onion powder and a half a full two a full teaspoon uh tablespoon one tablespoon of Italian seasoning and we're gonna do the Creole sauce. I'm gonna do a half uh, about a teaspoon of Creole sauce. Okay, I didn't get my onion powder, did I? About a half a teaspoon of onion powder. I don't know why this is sticking so bad, but I'll sprinkle it in there. About a half a teaspoon. And we're going to. Then I got some leftover marinating sauce from when we made something the other day soup. So we're going to do about a half a cup of marinated sauce, just a half a cup. We're going to add. About a half a cup of breadcrumbs, and I got the progressive breadcrumbs. Can I see the Italian style breadcrumbs? And then I'm gonna add a tea. Um, oops, sorry. I'm gonna add a large tablespoon of sour cream, and I got one of these tablespoons of sour cream. Okay. And then we're just going to mix it all together. I'm going to some of it. Mix it all together until it's all thoroughly mixed together. Then we're just going to get, we're going to make some big meatballs. We're going to roll them up like a dinner size meatball. Because I'm not cooking tomorrow because i got to work a double. So we're going to do big meatballs. Big meatballs, yes. Big meatballs. It might not fill this whole pan. So... I'm going to do two different kinds of meatballs. I'm going to uh, do some big, and then I'm going to bread some, and some breadcrumbs, and let them be like that too. We're going to have two different kinds of meatballs, okay? That's what we're going to do. We're going to do half and half, and then we're going to make the broccoli. I don't know, broccoli or rice or mashed potatoes. I don't know, y'all. Y'all just watch, because you know me. I'm special and I'll be doing other things. And I want everybody who's watching my show, if you go on my Facebook page and do my Facebook, please ignore. There's a nudity channel. Please go in there and put, um, been spammed. Someone's put nudity on my pictures, uh, my Facebook channel. So please ignore it and move on. Um, and uh, hit the spam that someone has uh spam me and uh keep um 
keep going on with me. Don't uh, delete me. Look at those. Y'all, nice. Okay, we're going to fill up the pan and keep going, okay? And we're going to cook them for about 30 minutes. Okay, this is what they should look like. Okay, hold on. Okay, so these are going to be Parmesan. I'm going to make these Parmesan, bread to Parmesan, and then I'm going to just make these plain, okay? So I got Parmesan cheese in these. I put Parmesan cheese, and I'm going to throw some Parmesan cheese when they're almost done. So we're going to throw them in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, in this pot, I'm going to throw our potatoes in here. These are going to take a little longer because they're not Yukon, you know, like Yukon potatoes. But, ooh, they $6 a bag now, so I had to get the regular Idaho potatoes. So, that's what we're going to fill this pan up until they get tender. We're going to make mashed potatoes. That's what I end up deciding on. Okay, on the other eye, I'm going to use, let me turn it on, some cut broccoli. Classic vegetables, hand over, they're good. They're not going to take long. So, I'm going to put them on low and cook them. With a little butter, salt, and pepper. Okay, this is what they look like. And now I'm going to put them back in for two minutes. I'm going to put Parmesan on the Parmesan. On the Parmesan ones. I'm going to put a little Parmesan because we got Parmesan in the middle of them. I'm going to put Parmesan on the outside of them. Okay. And just put them in there for about two minutes. We're going to leave some without, without the Parmesan cheese. I'm going to put some Parmesan on the ones that ain't got none, too. How about that's enough? Some people don't like Parmesan. Okay, let's go. And we're going to put some sauce on them. Matter of fact, I'm going to pour some sauce on them. Everybody know how to make mashed potatoes, so we're just going to make some mashed potatoes. But you know me, I'm going to put a little sour cream in mine and mix it to make them even creamier. Okay. Even creamier, so. Well, you don't have to use that much milk because you're using sour cream and pepper. I'm just add a, a couple of strings of mashed uh, milk just to uh, watch it. Just a little bit. You don't want to put too much because then it will. Because then it will. Uh, It will uh, clutter up and uh, it will get watery. So that's why we don't do it like that. So we're going to do this and be back and plate up our plate. Okay, here's the finishing touch, y'all. <sighs> Parsley um, meatballs with sauce, homemade mashed potatoes, and broccoli, Lord. Y'all, with butter. Okay, quick, easy meal. I'm out of here. See y'all later. Bye. This is for today and tomorrow.